Okay. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I am not having the best time. Um, nothing serious, like it's fine, really. I'm just like, I'm in a funk. I'm in a misanthropic funk, if you will. Um, I'm just tired. I took last week off from videos, as most of you will know. If you don't know, I always put those updates on the community page. Um, so if you're thinking like, oh my God, where's the video? Then check there and see for updates. <laughs> um, I took the week off because I had some client work to do that didn't get finished before. Um, I had a work meeting to do. I had uh, Wednesday ended up at the vet actually, uh, cause she had a fever. So I just, it was weird. Like a video didn't pull together for obvious reasons. It was also really dark again and quite rainy and stuff. Um, so I chose to take the week off from the video to work on my client stuff to get that finished for this week so that I can do my shop update. Instead of getting my client work done, I got a migraine. <laughs> um, I guess it's kind of like that thing when you have a holiday from work and then you get the flu. But like, I took the week off from personal stuff to focus on client stuff and I got a really bad migraine. Um, I ended up spending most of the week just lying on the sofa like curled up in a ball um because after the initial migraine passed i just had a lot of residual headache um so that sucks <laughs> there's no point being upset about it like these things happen sometimes things do not go to plan especially when you're disabled um or you have chronic conditions 
which I guess I have both with autism and migraines. Um, sometimes you just have a shit week. <laughs> um, sometimes things don't get done that you wanted to get done, that you needed to get done. Um, and I guess, I guess you just have to deal with it. Like, sometimes things don't go to plan, but you try your best and then you just have to work it out. I have a ghost for that, actually. <laughs> um, so, taking my own advice, I guess, just dealing with it. Um, this feels like that Spider-Man meme when they're pointing at each other, but instead of pointing at each other, it's me and myself pointing knives at each other, like, just rest! And then the other one is like, you don't have time to rest! Um, so, I don't know. Um, I can't remember what we last spoke about. I finished my second Field Notes book, can't remember if I showed you that. I know that I showed you me putting the sticker on my third one, I haven't set it up. I don't know if maybe that made last week worse because I didn't have anywhere to write anything. I wanted to do the setup on camera so that I could have a documentation of it. Um, and so you guys can see, because I'm changing my colour dots obviously. Um, and I think what the dot index means is still the second highest, if not now the highest question on the channel, even though I already answered it twice, I think, maybe. Um, but I can understand that it can be hard to find things when everything is just within some kind of attic episode. Like, it can be hard to find that information again, I guess. Um, so anyway, I want to do that on camera. I finished this one, it's all done. I made some work notes for to end it. Normally I write like a review of the book in the back, but I was doing work stuff, so it's just work notes. Um, it's cute. I will film a proper flip through sometime, I guess this week. Um, the worst thing about not getting anything done last week is now this week is so intimidating. It's only Tuesday, but I'm already like, oh God, I'm running out of days to do all of the things. Um, and when you're autistic or you have fatigue issues, I guess, or executive dysfunction, you really can't even bank on doing things on certain days. So it's just like, I have so much to do and I feel like I don't have enough days and then I can't even guarantee that I will do things on every day. Like, it's just, I'm in a weird place with it, okay? I'm having a, I'm having a weird, a weird one. Um, in my Hobonichi, this is the week before last. Like, that's how bad last week was. I think I didn't even, yeah, this is empty. So I need to catch up with that. Thankfully, I was making notes in my notes app on my phone about things I needed to do last week, um, some of which I did. <laughs> um, so hopefully I can backfill that, the list, which is what I always do. If I'm having a bad week, I do keep track of what I've done so that I can fill this back out. That's like a thing I always do. Because otherwise, when it comes to having to fill it out, I just feel 10 times worse. Um, making notes in my notes app, if I'm not using my notebooks, is my biggest I don't know how I would call it. It's something, it's a. It's the biggest self-care step I can make when I'm not feeling well because otherwise when I do start to feel a bit better, I know I can't fill that information back out. For those who are maybe newer viewers or who don't know, I have really bad memory issues. Um, it's my motivation for my books <laughs> um, and it's also my motivation for my channel. Um, I make videos so that I can remember things and I have documentation of what I've been up to um, and to help me like organize my time because I have issues with time. So it's important to me basically. So when I'm having a bad week, I do make notes to be able to fill my books back in. And that's something that I, I always do, like no matter how bad I am, I will never not do that because otherwise that time is gone for me. I can't, I can't recall anything that happened if I don't make those notes. Like that's just lost, it's like blackout. <laughs> um, which is really not cute or fun. Um, it's really quite upsetting. So, I will fill that in because I did make those notes, <laughs> so at least at least we have that. Um, these little stickers came, I got them for the shop update, I only got a hundred because they were an impulse buy and they were expensive. <laughs> um, and then they ended up coming from Denmark when I thought it was a UK site, so they're really cute though, they're kind of shiny, I don't know if you can see on camera but in the bones, just the bones, not the rest, it's shiny. So what I'm going to do is when I put up the pre-order for the ghosts, I'm going to include these in the first hundred orders. Um, they're super cute. They are kind of grey though. And I don't know why. <laughs> like, why did they do that to me? Why are they grey? Like, they're okay. They're meant to be white, but I feel like they're more grey than white. Um, but I, you know, colour is kind of just always like that, so it's not really the end of the world. It's just in some lights they look really dark. At the moment, because it's not so dark in here, it looks okay, but when it's in a dimmer room, they look super grey, which maybe is just how light and colour works anyway, so maybe it's a non-issue, but 
there we go those came last week <laughs> um apart from that i can't remember if i showed you these but the final test prints for the ghost cards came i chose a new paper stock do i have the old one i think i threw them in the recycling oh i do i have one okay um this was the old paper stock it's grayer i wanted something a bit brighter so that it complements the color of like field notes paper and also hobonichi paper not only are these the books i use <laughs> but i think they're a good reference because the hobonichi paper in the weeks books is yellower and these are quite a bright white with the yellow grid so on here for example it looks so gray so so gray and on here it's okay but again it kind of washes it out i wanted something brighter because of that so i got this new paper stock that is more cream but still brighter and i think it just looks so much nicer um and it also looks good on the hobonichi paper it's a bit brighter so i think i think that's the answer i think that's the one the paper is actually flecked it has these little textures and it's really pretty it's 300 gsm so they're really thick um and i think the print quality and the colors and stuff are lovely i also redid the back design and now i'm so happy with this <laughs> um i'm really really excited about the new back design i think it's i think it's there now it's it's the one compared to this hot mess <laughs> um i think it's a lot more refined um i'm really happy with this one so you better like it okay you have to like it <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with that now. I'm so excited to set the pre-order up this week. My brother helped me do all the math for it last week, which I think is what triggered the migraine. Um, but I've done the math, so it's fine. Um, I counted all my old shop stock. There will be tote bags and stuff again. Um, and I'm going to do the ghost on pre-order. And also, I think, a new set of planner stickers. Um, but I need to organise, like, a digital thumbnail for that. Um, so yes <laughs> okay that's the shop stuff i think these are the main things we had to talk about this week um apart from that i am uh, rereading <laughs> the raven cycle um i haven't read this in such a long time i read these when i was i think it must have been before uni so i think i must have been like 17 16 not 15 i think 16 17 is about right probably 17 I read these for the first time. I don't think I actually finished the series. I don't think I read Gwe uh, Grey Warren. Grey Warren. <laughs> Grey Warren. I don't think I read that book. I don't think I read the last one, if that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. I think I've only read like three of them. I think I read this one and I read Blue Lily Lily Blue or whatever it's called. And I read The Dream Thieves. And I think I only read those three. I think there's four. If there's more than four, I didn't know that. Um, I, I just on tumblr someone i follow i think had been reblogging like text from the books um and i kept reading it and being like damn yeah that kind of hits hard um and because i'm in a weird place <laughs> i just kind of was like yeah do you know i could really do with the comfort of that right now so i thought that i would reread them um i'm only 24 pages in because i started it like last night while my dad was cooking dinner not last night sunday night while my dad was cooking dinner um so i'm only a baby's way in but i'm gonna read this and then i'm gonna go back to if we were villains <laughs> because i haven't finished that still okay just don't ask <laughs> um i'm gonna read this one and maybe that will be my way back into reading because now i feel like i'm in a bit of a slump um i've just been busy um and not really coping i know i'm in a weird place because i started playing the sims again like i'm literally playing the sims 4 and acting like it's god's gift and it's really not um I know I'm in a weird place when my red flags <laughs> are like reading Sherlock Holmes fan fiction, like obsessively, playing The Sims 4, um, and just always going downstairs, like not wanting to be at my desk, basically. Um, these are like my my mental health, I guess, red flags. These are my like I'm in the weird times, I'm in the horrors. Um let me know what your weird little flags are because I always know as soon as I clock the fact I'm like obsessively reading Sherlock fix I'm like oh no like there's one thing to be participating healthily in Sherlock fan fiction for my special interests and there's a whole other thing to be reading it until four in the morning every day um so also just picking up stuff from my youth like the Raven boys um that is also like a <laughs> like a girly are you okay she's not okay um okay my slinky will fix everything no one works harder in this household than my slinky as well okay i think that's it this week um 
I, I just wanted to come on and say hi. I hope you're all good. I'm sorry about last week. I um, guess it was good I took the time off, but it didn't really help me at all. It didn't really get me anywhere. Um, I am hoping to arrange the pre-order for the ghost project in time for this video coming out, or maybe just before. Um, I will update all my social medias <laughs> if I can, if I remember to. I always miss one because I'm two brain cells, but I am going to do my best this time. I'm doing it on a pre-order because obviously I've had a lot of YouTube growth in the last few months since my last big shop order. Um, also some Instagram growth as well, which, ew, but you go. Um, so I'm going to do it on a pre-order so I can gauge the interest and act accordingly. I don't want anyone to miss out and I don't want people to be stressed and upset um, because that makes me stressed and upset. <laughs> so it's a lot to manage. Um, so I'm going to do it all on a pre-order so I can act accordingly. Um, so yeah, hopefully this week and it's going to it's going to work out. It's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be fine, you guys. Um, okay, I hope you're having a good week so far. I hope you have had a good week because you'll be watching this at the weekend. Um, everything's good. I'm just fighting for my life a little bit. Like, in a super normal way. In a super normal way with migraines and autism. Um, but it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. You guys always appreciate it when I'm real. So here you go. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I turn up on bad weeks to make a video and it does feel akin to like walking into a room with a nosebleed and everyone is like, oh my god, what's going on? Like that's kind of how I feel some weeks. Um, which is kind of on brand, I guess. Okay, I really need to stop talking. I'm gonna drink my tea. I'm gonna try and backfill these and I'll film that. And then maybe tomorrow or today I'll set this up and talk about it, maybe. Um, maybe I should pick a day specifically to work on these and then I can do the flip through around the talking at the same time. That would make sense. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I will see you soon. Um, might come back and talk again at the end of the week, so I won't say bye. Um, but that's where we're at. <laughs> Just wanted to update you. Okay, let's go. documentary is about these particular people that they found they're like I was petrified. I was terrified of this thing. I was terrified of this thing. And it was just a match and it was just a loud noise. And it was just don't know why that is there. I just watched the show that I like and all of a sudden I have to go hide from the thing that I know gonna be startling.
I don't know how it got so dark in between me filming those clips of my notebook to now. I swear only like an hour has passed, but it got so gloomy. Um, I have been waiting the last couple of days for the stickers to come and the envelopes for the ghost cards. I think I mentioned that when I spoke on Tuesday, but basically they were shipped on Monday with like a 24 hour like shipping option. And then so all of yesterday I was just waiting for them and I like because I was so focused on the fact that they were meant to arrive I was just stuck in that thing where you're like I can't do anything else I can't focus on anything else because I know they're gonna come and they just didn't <laughs> um, but they did come today thankfully um, because I'm losing my tiny autistic mind about it um they're so good I'm so excited um so this is about 10 cards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, ten cards, which is what the like base pack, if you will, volume one maybe of the ghost cards is, is ten cards. I ordered these envelopes from the same manufacturer who do my printing um, because I couldn't find this small size anywhere else. Like it was always had too much overhang. So I ordered the envelopes from them and look how perfect this sizing is. I'm literally like... stiff because they're new hang on hopefully 10 cards is gonna fit <laughs> um yeah yep okay there we go got there eventually like look how neat 
Look how neat that is. 10 cards is about the maximum it seems that will fit in there, which is fair. <laughs> um so i guess what i'll have to do is pack volume one and one envelope and then if people order extras the extras will have to go in a second envelope which is fine i can do that i can get enough envelopes but look how cool that is um and then you have a nice little envelope to store them in and to carry them around in and you can replace it with time if you want and stuff but at least that means that when you first order the cards you have somewhere to put them um super neat and obviously the envelopes are recyclable um and because they're made of recycled paper i think they just have this amazing texture, like they're so nice. They almost look more expensive than they are just because of that texture of the recycled paper. Big fan. <laughs> um, so then the idea is that you can tuck this in and I won't put anything on this side, I don't think, because then you can reuse it. You don't wanna have to peel a label off and then it leaves it all scratchy for your use, I guess. So then what would happen is on this side, I guess they would go this way up. So pretend the cards are the other way up. So then maybe on here, you would then get a sticker. A really cool little gloomy sticker would go on the envelope. Do you guys think that should be portrait or do you think it should be like landscape? Let me know because I'm not sure. Will it bother you guys if it's portrait? Um, it would be really cool to have something on this side, but I think this is gonna work better. I wonder if it should be portrait or landscape. Please tell me in the comments if you prefer portrait or landscape and I'll just go with the majority because um, I don't think it makes a huge difference, but like that is something that I, that's the kind of little detail that I will overthink for 45 years if no one intervenes. <laughs> so let me know what you would prefer. But that's the idea is that there'll be a nice sticker and then that's it, it'll be quite minimal. Um, the sticker isn't too exciting. You don't have to be really precious about it. If you want to stick the envelope in a notebook, you should do that. Um, because the stickers are not, you know, they're not super exciting. They're just little stickers. Um, they came printed on this like see-through paper, not printed, but they're stuck on. And I just thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, I've never had that before, but I just wanted to show you because I've been waiting. I have been waiting neurodivergently, <laughs> very autistically waiting in like only the way that neurodivergent people can, where you're just hyper-focused every moment. Um, I'm so excited. I'm probably going to organise this for Patreon today or tomorrow, apart from the fact there's no sun to photograph it, but I'm going to mock this up as like a pretend pack because obviously I've only got two designs, but I'm going to mock this up as a pretend pack so I can make a pre-order. And then hopefully that means when this video goes live for everyone on Saturday, the pre-order for the ghost cards will be open. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is some other work this afternoon because it's dark. And then tomorrow I will photograph this stuff in the morning when there's actually sun. And then um, it should be ready. So I'll update you tomorrow if it is ready, <laughs> um, but it should be. And that's really exciting because then I can let the pre-order run for a week or two while I'm finishing up my client work. Um, and then I should be able to order and ship by, I guess by the end of March. Um, took so much longer than I thought it would in the end. Ain't that just the way? Uh, it's always like that, <laughs> but not the end of the world. We got there eventually. How neat. I love these cards. They would be cute with some like star stickers like these, um, but I actually can't find mine. I've been looking for them for days and I just can't find them. That was part of what motivated me to tidy my stickers up was I was looking for the stars. Didn't find them. So organized everything for no reason. Um, made a big mess and didn't even find what I wanted to find, but I'm really happy with this. This is super cool. Um, just came on to do a really quick ramble. Um, ah. Hi again. Um, I didn't really expect to make a third talking segment this week. Um, the length of this video is going to be truly obnoxious, but I just wanted to update you. Um, the character arc for this video must be absurd because I went from feeling really bleak at the beginning of the week to leveling out a bit to being really excited about the ghosts and now we're going right back in the other direction again. <laughs> um, basically last night I put up the pre-order for the ghost cards for my patrons um, and I guess because the shop has been closed for a couple of months over Christmas and stuff and then the new year while I was working on new stuff, um, because I had such an influx of new orders so quickly, PayPal like flagged my account. <laughs> um, 
so they've they're withholding my funds um so i i took in about 100 orders in less than an hour which is amazing first of all <laughs> um uh, it's just it's a good thing that i was monitoring it so closely because as soon as i saw they were withholding funds that they had put a hold on my account i closed the shop if i had left it open i can't imagine how much money they would be withholding right now um it's been really scary and upsetting because it's never happened to me before <laughs> Um, and obviously I can't access those funds to be able to pay for the shipping for the orders I took. Um, PayPal, when I phoned them this morning, said the only way to unfreeze your account is to prove your shipping orders, but they're withholding my shipping fees, <laughs> so the whole thing is a bit of a mess. Um, obviously I've closed the shop and I'm going to have to put back the actual shop opening. Um, Wednesday is playing with something in the background, if you can hear her, I'm sorry. Um, she doesn't know how to read the room, <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm obviously going to have to delay the opening of the shop probably until next month. They told me the earliest my funds will be released is this time next month, so the 17th of April. And that's obviously if all the order ship, which they will by then. But they said that they'll probably release the funds. There isn't even a guarantee. The worst thing is that if I do fulfill these orders and then get the money released, they told me there's no way to guarantee that when I next reopen my shop, they won't put another hold on those new funds. So I could be working in a cycle of freezing and unfreezing my account and never having access to the money to pay for shipping, which makes no sense. Um, I did some research this morning. Turns out this is a big problem for artists and small businesses using PayPal. Um, so I did have a guy a go at the guy on the phone um, and then I felt really bad about it because he's just a customer service guy. Um, but alternatively, consider not working for a predatory supervillain, I guess. Um, but anyway, he said they can't do anything about it. Um, and I got tired of fighting him on the phone, so yeah. Um, so I, I had a good afternoon yesterday and I thought I was going to have a really exciting evening. I was watching the new episode of Shadow and Bone and I was so excited and then it all went downhill so fast. Um, obviously today I am in like crisis cleanup mode. <laughs> um, I am going to ship the existing orders. Thankfully it was only a Patreon release so far, so it's not it's not too scary and I can communicate in a really easy place. I'm not having to cross post on my socials for about it. I can just talk to my patrons directly and you've all been so understanding if you're watching patrons. Um, I'm really grateful for how, how well you've taken it and how nice you've been and supporting and offering to help and stuff. Like it's it's really a lot. I've been a bit emotional, obviously. It's been it's been a lot. Um I actually haven't had a, a, a meltdown, um, an autistic meltdown, haven't done that, so that's an achievement I guess, but it's been a lot. Um, I think in future obviously I'm just not going to use PayPal for my work ever again, um, but I will talk about that when the time comes. Um, yeah, I don't think I've made a lot of sense here, but patrons know what's going on, I made a big breakdown for them. I just wanted to let you know because obviously I spent this whole video guessing up the fact that I was excited about my shop update and now it's just not going to happen. So yeah, <laughs> I am back in the horrors, exciting stuff, back where, back where I'm used to being. Um, this afternoon I'm going to order the prints for my patrons. My dad is going to have to lend me some money to be able to pay for the stuff because obviously they're withholding all my shipping costs. So he's going to have to lend me some money. Um, I. I'm trying to just feel lucky that I noticed it as quick as I did, that my patrons are so nice and so good to me, that I have a dad who's able to lend me some money to help fix it um, until I can actually get my funds from PayPal. Um, so it could be worse, definitely, but also this is this sucks. <laughs> um, and then to find out that PayPal have such a big history of being predatory towards small businesses is like, it does feel deliberate, to be honest with you. Um, this has never happened before, even though I've taken big gaps in my shop before, because obviously I make products, I release them, and then I take time off to work on new stuff, and then I release those when they're ready. So I've had up to six months gap before, but they're telling me the reason it all got flagged is because there was such a big gap. But I was like, okay, why hasn't that happened in the past then? And they were just like, have you considered changing your business model? And I was like, um, okay. So that's where we're at. So this is no longer happening this week. Um, I'm really sorry to anyone who's disappointed. Obviously, this is a worst case scenario for me. Um, this is not how I wanted it to play out. This is not how I wanted to share my ghost with you because I was so excited. Um, this has been a real passion project for me. I was really, really excited and I'm really disappointed. Um, but I'm not crying on camera this week. So 
I will plan to reopen the shop again in April without PayPal as a payment option, um, and I hope you don't mind being patient for a little while longer while I work on stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do is next week I'll make a commonplace book video where I set up my new book and do flip throughs of my previous ones. Some people ask me to show them what's on each page like day to day, so I'll do some of that. If you have questions about my commonplace books, maybe leave them in the comments. Um, and I can answer those next week. Either that or I'll make a community post because that makes it easier to find them. Um, I think I'll do that actually. Okay. Um, the videos have all been really long recently. I just wanted to check in. Do we like videos being 30 to 40 minutes long or do you want them a bit shorter? Because I know that they're starting to get a bit intense lengthwise. Um, I know some of you really like it, but if I could just get an idea for the majority, that would be helpful. Um, and Wednesday is zooming across the room. So on that note, I will see you next week. Being that in the final yield of 2018, buyers feeling success and clones running across the internet, it would be likely to the subgenre. Oh.